Hey guys, I'm here quick with another video on how to uh, do port forwarding on an Apple Xtreme, uh, the, the newest version, 2013, I believe it is. On a, uh, I'm using a Tambis camera. How to set it up using port forwarding. Uh, a lot of people make it uh, complicated, but it's not actually. Uh, it's some easy, simple steps to follow. So uh, first thing you want to do is, of course. Open your application, Canvas, for Mac, IP camera tool, and um, and this is just the setup for online use, so you can watch your um, camera uh, from anywhere in the world. Now. Um, Now this right here, if it doesn't work when you click on it, uh, that means um, that you are not able to watch it online. Uh, usually it'll, it'll say right right there, right here, that a uh, um, server address not found or something like that. But since I already did mine, it, it doesn't do that anymore. But uh, let, me back, let me get back to the port forwarding. So like I said, it's really simple. Uh, next thing you want to do after after this, you want to keep this open because you need this information here. Oh, another thing as well. Um, make sure that it's under. Um, oh, yeah. Make sure that this you don't have this on because if you have this on, this IP address is going to keep on changing. If it reboots or if it turns off, it's going to keep on changing. Uh, you don't want that you want to keep the IP address the same so if you have this option uh, click it off do not use that uh, make sure just everything just stays like this the same okay with that being said uh, you want to open up your airport extreme airport utility Click on edit, go to network, and where it says where it says port settings, you're gonna add. I already added mine right here. But like I said, it's really simple. Uh, the description, uh, if, if you're gonna put multiple multiple cameras, just either put whatever camera one, camera two. The public UDP ports is always gonna be the last four numbers right here. After, after this right here, the last four numbers, you're gonna put that on this one, this one, this one, and this one. And the private IP address is this one right here. Just the numbers, no, the not the HTTP, whatever. Just the numbers. Um, this has to be the exact same as this one for it to work. Uh, usually it'll say something else. The last numbers may be different, so make sure that they are exactly the same as this one. Once you do that, all you have to do is just click update. Uh, I already did mine, like I said, I'm not gonna do that again. But just click the update, your your, your um, airport extreme is gonna uh, like boot up. Once you do that, um, after you do that, you wanna go back to So this right here, and settings, and click on this again and see if it, if it does actually take you to the login web to the login page. That means that, that it has been successful. You are able to now watch your camera, access your camera from anywhere in the world using your phone, or uh, or tablet or laptop. Uh, another thing as well that you want to do is before. Before you do that, to make it easier, like if you already downloaded the app, the app for the um, for the camera, the Tambis app. What you want to do first is you want to keep it under Wi-Fi so you can get the IP address, 
And um, mine is already set up. And I'm on, I am on LTE, I think, right now. So you can see right there the controls. Uh, so like I said, what you want to do first is you want to keep it under your Wi-Fi network to be able to uh, pick up the camera. And then after you, uh, you know, when you click on the camera that your uh, IP, your, your Tambis thing uh, shows up on it, you want to click on it, uh, log in. Once you log in, you click save. Uh, this should be right there in the corner right here. It'll say save. Save it. So then you won't have to enter manually the address for your uh, camera. So that way, when you take it off a of white, when you take off your phone off Wi-Fi, uh, it'll automatically pick up the um, the address without you having to enter and uh, having to enter it manually. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, very simple stuff. Uh, go to IP, ca IP camera tool, IP camera. The, this is the numbers that you need uh, in order for for this to work. So like I said, it's nothing complicated, very simple. A lot of people went through a lot of explaining and blah, 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 you know, and you just want it to work. You don't want to know about it, you just want it to work. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more how-to and tech videos.